Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another wardrobe update where we, as per usual, are gonna talk about what's new in my wardrobe. But today we're also talking about something new or we're trying something new. We're also gonna talk about the three to five most worn pieces within my wardrobe in the past month because as you know, I try what I wear every single day. So I'm able to know that with precise accuracy and I thought it would be fun to, to try and add. So if we do indeed enjoy that, I'm gonna make it like a reoccurring segment within the wardrobe updates. And then on top of that, of course, we're just gonna talk about any like uh, wishes or other thoughts and feelings I have for my wardrobe. And as you can maybe tell, I am still in London. So I do also have a few really exciting London and pieces to chat about so i'm really excited about that but first things first we are just going to talk about things from an end and i added a couple of basics when i was in copenhagen i just missed them with the last wardrobe update so i'm just throwing them in here really quickly i've touched a little bit on this before but danish brands also these like a little bit more like generic ones tend to make like quite high quality basics they tend to not deteriorate as quickly as, for example, the basics I get in Sarah and H&M, which there are usually a myriad of issues with, and with these, there just aren't. I have had quite a few basics from this store, from Message, throughout the time, and I also have some turtlenecks from Message currently in my wardrobe. I'm not as excited about those, though, because the like the neck is quite loose and I'm more into something that sits quite fitted. I mean, this is just a high neck. So I've started to actually pull my attention towards high necks because a lot of turtlenecks, again, not all of them, but just some are quite loose around the neck and that's just like not the look I'm going for. But these two basics, they don't have that because, you know, simply it's not a turtleneck. It is actually a scoop neck, but I bought them with the intent of turning them around. That is how I've been wearing them. You know, I'm usually in between a size small and medium on top and here a medium fits just perfectly they're also quite stretchy so it's hard to really totally like misjudge your size so i've been wearing these quite a lot already except actually the white one uh, i didn't pack it to london but i wanted to from zurich and think i might have forgotten it in copenhagen honestly i can't really figure it out so uh push comes to shoves i might just have to buy a new one but luckily they're not like super pricey, especially for something that generally lasts quite well or quite long within your wardrobe, especially for like basics such as these. And again, of course, they are just super comfortable. Then onto something slightly more exciting because as you know, I always have the running list, wish list up on my website. And some of these wishes, you know, they're there for a really long time and I'm usually distracted by other things I want uh, more or here and now, you know, it's so easy to just postpone those things that you can always focus on later on but i specifically made a point out of finding something from my wish list that has been there for a long time and that i actually really wanted to have it in this case made so that i could uh, have it as part of my wardrobe and that is this locket that i am wearing right now so i've had this idea for a really long time I actually started as like a tattoo idea but i would have never gotten it actually tattooed but that is how it started where i wanted to get the swiss and the danish national flowers together and then someone suggested that i could get a piece of jewelry engraved and immediately that became like the the, the actual idea or like the goal and then since then i've also fallen quite in love with the uk i mean i've actually always been but then i did decide to add that to the design and so i made a really simple design of the flowers where i put them all together and then i ordered the engraving on this locket from monica venator and it turned out so well like it's so cute i mean obviously the locket is not like super uh, huge you do need to pay just a little bit of attention or, you know, wonder about it in order for you to sort of pick up on the design, which I'm quite uh, happy with. And then actually for the exact same price, I actually even believe that the engraving is free. You can get all sides and the insides of the locket engraved. So on the other side of the locket, I have in like cursive, it says the Danish version of the saying, uh, fortune favors the bold, which is Lücken står den kegebi. And the Danish word for bold in this context is a little bit different. It's actually more like fortune favors the cheeky or like the brave or like the brave and the happy. Like the word for bold is just 
different in this context in the Danish saying. So just honestly, for those who know me personally, it just suits my personality quite well. And I think it's such a beautiful saying. So I had that engraved on the other side. I do also have engravings on the inside, but those are just for me, so I'm gonna keep them to myself. But I am so happy with this locket. There really is something special about when you can have something like personalized or custom made. It does add another sense of like magic to your wardrobe, especially just, you know, whenever you can have something like unique or like pieces that not everyone has. Yeah, it really does add something. And then obviously when you add like a personalized uh, engraving on top of it, it just becomes like whatever you want it to be. It's also a really good gift idea, just in my opinion. So yes, I I finally was able to have this done and cross it off of my wish list and permanently add it to my, what do you say, watcher where like, you know, I own it. And then I did actually also add something else from Monica Venator. Now I was doing it, I might as well, you know, continue because one thing you might have been able to recall seeing me wear a lot like for all my videos in all of the time I've been doing the YouTube is this a very small uh, fresh water pearl and I've gotten asked about it a lot of times but it's honestly it's just from this like very generic fashion jewelry company from Denmark called Pilgrim. It's just a little charm that is always available there but it's not that great quality at all and also like the little gold piece that holds the pearl I mean it turns like a, a rust or like an orange almost immediately but it is like a proof of concept I wear this small pearl all the time even this terrible quality version so I actually ended up getting the one from Monica Venator that I tried on the last time I was here I mean it's a little small like investment to put into something that i don't know again it is one of those things you're like it's so easy to put it off but it ultimately it's one of those things that i wear all the time so i wanted to take it and put it into my budget to be able to buy like a nice version of it and it's a lot more organic looking than the old one it's also a little bit larger and then the thing that it hangs in like the little gold metal piece it's just so so nicer it's so much higher quality so i really like it and then until what i have been buying a while I've been here in London. The first thing I've purchased is a repurchase of something I recently lost and that is the ultra light compact down jacket from Uniqlo. I've had one since 2018 and then recently bought like the bigger and the bigger version of it but like the very compact version I usually take that with me everywhere to add as like a little a layer for a lot of my outfits that you know of course I can take like on and off that doesn't really like add or take from my outfit and I like it so much because you can put it into almost every bag or you can just like carry it in your pocket it doesn't take up any space for like with the bigger one yes it's warmer it's more like a real jacket and it is compact but in no way nearly as much as the small one but I lost that one that I got uh, in 2018 but now that I've had to repurchase it I'm actually so glad that I did the design has definitely improved actually since I got mine like now there is like a little elastic around the wrist and also I think just like the way it's structured in the neck it just makes it so that it's a lot warmer like it keeps your heat better and the shape is just generally nicer so even though the one I had before could probably have lasted me another like four or five years like it was in totally fine condition there's nothing wrong with it the design improvement for keeping you warm which is what this piece is intended for at least within my wardrobe makes it all worth it so I'm really happy with it I actually also think it's just a little bit more like compact or like thicker uh, in the like the padding so it is actually also just slightly warmer than the one that I had before even though again it takes up no space so of course I'm also linking to the exact one that I got down below it's also already up on the website but just so that you can yeah, see it have a look and purchase it if you want to I am so happy with mine and even happier with the one that I had uh, than with the one that I had before then we are going on to something really exciting and I thought about turning this into its own video and I did decide I am going to do that but I'm going to do that later down the road when I have worn the pieces more so that we can turn it into like a proper review but I bought a couple of pieces from UK brand Odd Muse which is a brand here from London. I'm gonna get a little bit chatty about this I think because there are just a lot to share. I first found the brand on Instagram quite a while back. They blew up and Instagram sometime last year with a couple of dresses. One of them is this gray one that I'm trying on here, which I do want to get it. I didn't get it this time. Honestly, I've just, I bought other things and you know, I can't buy everything all the time. So I will probably have to edit 
later down the road. But I went into the store here in London. They've had a store here since November. And to be quite honest, uh, I've been reading a lot of reviews. And I think because it is such a young brand, it's also created and run by a young British girl. Or a woman and just in terms of like sizing and returning things and taxes it seems that you know just because the brand has exploded in the amount of time that it has there are some challenges there so i didn't want to buy anything until i got here and was able to see and try and buy it in person to be honest which definitely my trip to the store did accomplish because there was a lot of things that weren't necessarily like available like they weren't super well stocked but at the very least i was able to try on everything for size and if you are interested in this this brand you know they say that the sizes they have are regular sizes but in my experience i think things there are quite small actually i was very consistently an l both in bottoms and in tops which it's I don't, it's very rare that I have to buy an L in tops and like in bottoms, I'm, I'm a lot more used to it. And then actually for one of the bottoms that I tried on, I also tried on this skirt when I was there, actually I uh, went to an XL, which is not a problem. It's just very atypical. So that is definitely something I would keep in mind. At least that's just, that was my experience. But I went into the store. The store is really beautiful. The designs are so gorgeous. I mean, that is what the brand kind of like gained all its traction from. Definitely extremely well thought out, extremely well-designed pieces and the girls who were working in store were also quite friendly like we had uh, quite a chat I think they had like a good balance of like leaving you alone but also you know wanting to answer any questions that you might have so what I did end up buying actually is this black dress without straps I tried it on in red first in store and oh my god it's so beautiful but you know right now I really am trying to focus more on like buying pieces that I actually wear because I think my wardrobe could use some and then I also went with their famous black blazer I actually believe that this was what they first created both of these pieces are made from polyester and I think I want to get a little bit more into this in like when I actually create the review video because I'm going to try my best to wear these pieces a lot so that the video can come quite soon but one of the things that is sort of like the selling point of the items is that there are pieces you can have forever and I think just the mentality, I also spoke about this in my la latest video, just the mentality in the UK when it comes to longevity within your wardrobe, it, it is quite behind comparably to, you know, Copenhagen and Zurich, but I don't want to go too in depth into it right now again because I'm do going to do it later and also I don't want to like overly critique the brand because again like it is quite young and everything that they or like she has achieved so far is honestly really great but I do see some uh, a little bit of inconsistencies with what was uh, mentioned because you know actually on their website it literally says something like pieces you can have in your wardrobe forever but I have worn the blazer for five times and I'll just show you the picture this is what it looks like granted this is exactly where like my bag rubs against it uh, but still you know I have pieces from many places including fast fashion where this is not an, an issue and I do think for something to be truly like long lasting it cannot bubble like this that seriously after just a, uh, like literally five times of wear so that's definitely a little bit disappointing I'm a little bit hesitant trying to be too harsh on it in like this video because actually I went to talk to the to the girls that work there and they looked a little bit like I don't want to say shocked I mean we did have a talk that obviously it's something that it's not something they hadn't seen before but uh, they took down my email and wanted to say they could figure out with, like with the buyers if there's anything they can do where you know that was really helpful really friendly but I was also, also like you know I mean if this is the fabric that the blazer is made from you know it is just gonna happen again and like there's no point in like wasting another blazer on me you know I am gonna wear my things the way that I wear them so I don't think that would make a huge difference but uh, for such a young brand again I'd rather go into the uh, in the other video that's definitely something to like consider but all that aside I am still really happy with it you know I haven't cleaned up the bubbling yet so I will update you on that in the other video I mean I should just get a, go ahead and do that but I am in London you know I don't have any of my tools here with me where I could fix that myself but still I have been extremely happy with the blazer the dress I haven't worn yet I haven't really I like find a way to to wear it while in London back home in Zurich I'm gonna wear it more casually because things that are more preppy can still be pretty casual 
in Zurich and then you know you'd also go out in something like this in Zurich and maybe wear like a heel or a boot where I feel like in London you're often depending on what you're doing dressed a little bit more casually so I haven't worn it here yet but I am gonna wear it at home uh, back in Zurich also with like a shirt underneath for like an even more casual look and like an everyday look and then get like some actual wear into it so we can talk about it later but both pieces are again extremely like well designed they are very very well structured like the dresses are famous for suiting pretty much everyone and I also felt like really snatched. If I'm being super specific, I could probably take the bust in just a little bit at the top, but honestly, it's also just like not necessary. And yeah, everything else I tried in the store, including this dress that I really wanted in black, but it seems they might not even get it back again, which is quite devastating because that is the, like the top piece that I wanted. But even that is made so well that like the way it sits, it doesn't move and I can do, you can do like whatever you want in it. So I found that like really impressive and I don't want to take away, you know, just because maybe uh, the fabric they chose at the end of the day is not the best fabric for a piece that is intended to, to last forever within your wardrobe. I don't want to take away from all uh, the rest. We're going to talk more about that in a video dedicate, dedicated to Odd Muse. But if we just talk about the pieces now in terms of my style, I think that they are also just such great pieces. You know, I have wanted a black blazer, actually also like a black coat for a while. And the black blazer that I usually use when I, sorry, need to wear a black blazer is one that I have from H&M, which cost me almost nothing. And I got it as something I can wear like out and about that I don't have to really worry about. But honestly, it's still not like the best piece. And it's a dead giveaway that it's H&M, which that just personally bothers me. But where with this blazer that I bought from Odd Muse, it does just have a different structure that makes it quite a cool girl-ish actually. Uh, but still in like a very like elegant way. I definitely really, really like it. And then it also has these like beautiful uh, sleeping beauty-esque sleeves that I really, really love. And then yes, it comes with actually two different belts that you can tie it with. And it is made from polyester and we already talked about the fabric, but I actually find it extremely breathable uh, for a polyester piece. So even though there are some other issues with the fabric, in terms of breathability, it's definitely a very well picked fabric. And then with the dress, you know, I haven't worn it yet, but I really am so excited to and go home and like incorporate it into my wardrobe in different ways. I think, you know, right now they only have like the colors that they do, but long term, this is also something I could see myself at and like different a color should the day come but i think black is like a really really good place to start and it reminds me of the top i bought quite recently i think it's like two months old only from cos which has like a very very similar look to it it's also like a bandeau then it does have some buttons but it also have like this um i mean i'll just show a picture so you can see the similarities and i haven't gone around to wear it that much i think just because it's not a piece you wear all the time but i think i've worn it like three times where now that i have the dress I could have probably gone without the top. I mean, it's not the end of the world that I bought it. And like worst case, I will just sell it. But if anything, it just serves as like a proof of concept that like this is something that suits my style very well. And then also like the blazer and the dress together are definitely a look. And once it gets just like a little bit warmer in Zurich, I am super excited to wear this, but like with bare legs, like no tights and then boots to go with it. I, yeah, that I am just like, so excited about. I did just have to move my phone. I forgot to look at uh, my most worn pieces before I started the video. So I took a screenshot and I have it placed it over on my computer so we can talk about now the most worn pieces in my wardrobe within the last month. And first place, unsurprisingly, is my Hermes Evelyn bag. You know, I wear it all the time. And then on top of that, you know, I have been in London for the past uh, week now and i do come here with only a carry-on and i don't have that much to choose from so i tend to just wear a lot of the same things and i don't mind you know it's only a week so i have been wearing that for yeah 18 days out of the last 30 or out of the last month so yeah it's just racking up wear it just is what it is and then next up is my denim skirt from danish brand noah i've already talked about how happy i was to run into the two denim skirts that i bought like one is of course this one and then i also got the dark one from envy which 
I wear substantially less, but only because I wear the mid blue one so much. And this, of course, is definitely also because I am wearing it a lot while here in the UK. You know, when you come here only in a carry on and you want everything to go together, I find just for me, also just like with my base style, like what I like, I tend to then, yes, really just wear the same things over and over again. And even though I brought other things with me, I just find myself reaching for the denim one most. So that one I have been wearing 15 days out of the last 30, which honestly I find that is like, yeah, that's quite impressive. Like that's half of the time I've worn the same button, but again, it, it really does come down to also like the time I've been here that I've worn it almost every single day because, you know, I do just have to create my favorite outfits for from the small amount of things that I have with me. And I tend to just like wear my favorite constantly instead of switching it up with something that, that I like a little bit less, which is also then again, not a hundred percent true because I also brought the Bordeaux, like the burgundy leather skirt, which it didn't make it to within the first five, but it's on the seventh place of what I've worn most this month. Actually, maybe I'll just pop the, the the picture up and you can see it for yourselves. Third place, unsurprisingly as well, are my boots from Vagabond. You know, of course, I also brought them here, so I'm wearing them here a lot, but even if I didn't, these are the shoes I wear by far the most, which is also why I keep being on the lookout for boots near identical to these, but they really do have to lean very heavily on the design of these. If you see anything, please let me know. I am constantly looking myself as well, but I haven't found anything, but this is really something that it's a priority. Like once I find a pair of boots that I like, I will purchase them immediately. And then I have my winter jacket, you know, just because there are still a lot of like slightly colder days. So I'm wearing the and other stories winter jacket a lot. Actually, it's the one I've been wearing uh, almost this entire cold season. So yeah, 11 days on that. Then also 11 days on my tall boots, which I have worn a lot ever since I got them. You know, it just switches up my look and also gives me a break from the other vagabond boots a little bit while still being like basic enough that I do want to wear them all the time. And then uh, the tall boots, I mean, also the small ones, but the tall boots with a denim skirt and a black top. And then, you know, right now I'm wearing the new black blazer. Yeah, it's it's a look. And then, I mean, in theory, this is it, but you can see what else I have been wearing. You know, some of these things are actually not, like if you look at the short trends, for example, I didn't bring it here to London. So this is not something I'm wearing while I'm here. Same with the black sweater actually, but this is more or less like what I'm wearing the most within my wardrobe right now. Again, heavily influenced by the fact that some of these things are here with me in the UK. And even if it's just like a week so far that I've only been able to wear these pieces, you know, a week takes up a lot of like that space because I will also wear these a lot when I'm home, even if it's just like a little bit uh, less so. So yes. Then I also wanted to talk a little bit about like wishes and stuff like that. But honestly, this video is really starting to uh, become quite long. And I do have another video coming up uh, about just like the trends or, any wishes I might have for spring. So I think I'll include that in that video instead so that we can sit down and talk a little bit more about in depth, like the trends that are coming up and what I might want to, to get of those trends that would both fit in very well with my wardrobe and also like what new pieces might uh, spice it up a little bit. So I think that is all for this month's wardrobe updates. If you like this video, please give it a like so that I know and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.